application, Middle East Restaurant Incorporated, doing a business as Middle East Suzu. Holder of a common victualler, all alcohol license at 472 Mass Ave. Has applied for an alteration of premise to include approximately 3,332 square feet of additional adjacent space at 10 Brookline Street for a premise description of first floor, five rooms with service bars, staff service areas, four stages, eight bathrooms, basement, one room, kitchen, stage, two bars, two bathrooms. Seasonal outdoor patio on public sidewalk, approximately 23,600 23, square feet with six entrances and 13 exits. Licensed, licensed address would encompass 472, 474, and 480 Mass Ave, and 248 and 10 through 18 Brookline Street. Thank you. Good afternoon. Could you please state and spell your names for the record? Uh, Bernard F. Chadre Jr., S H A D. R A W Y. I have my appearance, Mr. Sater's appearance, and I have the uh, notices with the green cards. Uh, and this is Nabil Sater, S A T E R, the uh, owner manager. Thank you very much. Um, and to be clear, what we're adding is just one room on the first floor, which would be what's now currently known as Sonia. Is that correct? Correct. At 10 Brookline Street. Yep. That's and the then. Number. We're adding one stage in that location. That's correct. Um, and then adding two bathrooms. Correct. And the capacity that we're adding is 350, and again, only as to that space. Correct. And then there's no other changes in terms of the business or the capacities or anything of that nature. That is correct. I did have a question. I couldn't really tell from the... Um, Floor plan, can you tell me where the stage is on Sonia's? Yes, in fact, I brought an expanded floor plan that may help actually um, three uh, delineate also where the tables and chairs are. They're, they're, they're not, all, there's just one yeah. set, okay? I'm sorry, I didn't That's that. fine. All right, but uh, the, if you were familiar with the site, it would be the back of the property in the center of what was TT's. But TT's has been totally gut renovated. Uh, in addition, um, a whole new fire safety system has been installed in the entire premises, which would now be the Middle East restaurant. Um, although the Middle East always had fire sprinklers, including the up and downstairs, uh, TT's did have a fire sprinkler system, but was broken up in many rooms. And this is a much more open floor plan. So the egresses, the fire safety, has all uh, the ADA has all been met and complied. And even though there existed a liquor license at this location, there's a presumption of public need. Can you tell us what's the public need for your client to expand into this? Yes. Space. Uh, number one, it has been an existing license premises for uh, 30 years serving the public. And in particular, um, this uh, um, area is one that has been viewed as an area that has been a vital uh, business center for creating business within the Central Square uh, District. So that there's absolutely no change in the use, actually. It's just an, a, an updating of the use. Uh, the expanded occupancy will serve the public need in a manner to protect the common good by continuing to provide an adequate number of places in the city at which the public may obtain a different sort of beverage in the manner and for the kind of use indicated. Thank you. Just for the record, the Saders have been in business at this location for some 40, over 40 years. Yes, and I know for the record that um, there really is no recent disciplinary um, issues with this licensee at this location. Thank you. I also note for the record that we received letters in support of this application from Representative Decker. Um, the manager of the LLC that owns the abutting properties, Michael Simon, Councillor Carlone, Councillor Zonderman, uh, Zonderman, sorry, uh, Representative Provost, Representative Conley, and Mayor McGovern. And uh, we have also uh, 
attached, we have those letters, but also attached are uh, nine uh, members of the Ward 5 uh, Committee, uh, the Central Square uh, Business Association, as well as 2,100 uh, signatures on a petition. And, and also, which seemed to come in late today, and I just saw it uh, also from Councillor Toomey. I'm just going to say that. From who, I'm sorry? Councillor Toomey. Toomey. Oh, okay. Thank you. Anyone in favor of this petition? Anyone in opposition to this petition? Okay. I will vote to grant. I will concur. Granted. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.